Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 3rd of 2021. Well, it is titled found on the moon candidate for oldest known Earth rock. So what do we see here? Well, the image that we see at the beginning and a video will play in a little bit show an image of a moon rock collected by the Apollo 14 mission, which is marking its 50th anniversary coming up on Friday. So Friday will be 50th anniversary of the Apollo 14 landing on the moon. And one of the rocks that was collected has been studied and is possibly the oldest known rock on Earth. Now, what do we mean by the oldest known Earth rock and how can we find an oldest known rock Earth rock from Earth on the moon? Well, it is quite possible that large impacts early in the history of the solar system disrupted a lot of the Earth's crust and threw material out into space. So some material out in space came from Earth. Now, of course, the moon being the closest object to us could have collected some of that material, which could have then become incorporated into moon rocks, one of which this sample 14321 that happened to be collected by Apollo 14 had a fragment of and in dating this earth rock and determining how old this rock is it is back about 4 billion years which is really older pretty much than any rock we've ever found on earth. So how can this be older than earth rocks? Well, rocks on Earth generally are not very old because the Earth is extremely active and it's active volcanically and through weathering processes. So rocks that get broken down over millions or even a billion years and then formed into new rocks. Uh, so uh, they do not have the same rocks here on Earth that were here many billions of years ago. But if this little fragment was expelled out into space, then it missed out on all of that and was able to be captured on the moon and then unchanged for billions of years because the moon does not have geological activity and does not have weathering effects. So this small uh, rock could have been captured there. Now what the video shows a uh, video clip here that we can play is an x-ray scan of the rock and you can look at there's different sections so you can see as it cuts through various different colorations that will come out and brighter and darker patches as it works through showing different compositions and that's one way to be able to study a rock is to look at it through an x-ray process like this to be able to see that it has very different materials and that parts of this rock really have no, little com little uh, in common with other moon rocks. So they really don't have much in common with the moon rocks, but they do have very big similarities to rocks we find here on Earth. So it is thought that perhaps this rock was expelled out into space long ago for over 4 billion years ago, and happened to be captured by the moon. And then also fortunately happened to be one of the rocks that was selected by Apollo 14 to bring back. And of course, there could be far more rocks like this up on the moon. We only have the single samples that were taken and not a chance to study, of course, every rock. So there could even be older Earth rocks still present on the moon. So that was our picture of the day for February the 3rd of 2021. It was titled Found on the Moon, Candidate for Oldest Known Earth Rock. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.